ranking member on Parliament's Road and Transport Committee, um, Kwame Agbaja, is warning government not to go ahead and sign a contract with fellow DB to construct railways in the country. According to Kwame Agbaja, the contract worth 3.2 billion cities is expected to be signed today and is warning it will not benefit the country. According to the Adaklu MP, the company involved is only using Ghana to raise money on the stock market. Uh, somewhere last week, we were picking up information from uh, the media, both national and international, that uh, a company called TeloDB and uh, TransTech were about to sign an agreement for $3.2 billion to build railway in, the, in this country. Uh, my checks suggest that uh, the, the information put out there in, on Reuters by TeloDB and uh, TransTech is very misleading and was only meant to serve their personal interest. Not too long ago, you noticed that uh, Motor Angels did the same thing by saying they've signed a, a $570 million uh, agreement on the Tamamoto way. And they quickly went trying to raise money from their, the stock exchange from their shareholders. We believe that uh, sponsored article on, uh, uh, how do you call it, Reuters, uh, is deliberate to help these companies uh, uh, improve their uh, financing on whatever stock exchange uh, they are. But let's ask the, this question. What is the nature of the so-called railway management agreement that the Ministry of uh, Railway is about to, uh, to sign? Our railway sector is in crisis. We are just now doing the investment to see whatever we can do. The last time this government signed uh, uh, this kind of management agreement, if you remember aqua victims, to improve water delivery in this country, and it ended in a fiasco. We have to kick them out. Interestingly, another South African company. Not too long ago, you noticed, uh, 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 how do you call it, PDS signing the same management agreement with uh, ECG. In fact, another big fiasco. As we speak, Ghana's money is probably locked up in, in that. So what is the point of this uh, uh, agreement, a uh, railway management agreement? I am cautioning government. You are not signing any agreement that brings $3.2 billion. Indeed. Fellow DB and Transtech do not have the capability of raising 3.2 billion for our railway sector. Uh, Kwame Agbaja is warning government to pull the brakes on the deal. He claims the government is seeking to bypass parliament to sign this agreement, which he says is not fit for purpose. I was surprised that uh, somebody from AFDB was also saying that uh, Afri, Afri Exim Bank, not AFD, Afri Exim Bank, were commenting on this. And I think that we should all be cautious that we don't get into a point of signing all these Mickey Mouse uh, agreements with these companies, thinking that somebody is out there with $3.2 to, to support our railway sector. What we are doing, we, we, we need more money to be able to, that, to de develop the lines and run them. But I don't think this agreement is clear enough. And if I read the, the Attorney General's uh, uh, comment, it's very misleading. Is it the case that Attorney General believes that the assets of Ghana Railway Company currently are worth $3.2 billion upon which they are claiming that government is not spending any that we can hand over? Basically, it's just like selling our investment even before we complete them to tell a tell uh, uh, DB. And I feel that we should make this point very clearly. Government must be cautioned that as they have done with Aqua Victims and became a fiasco, PDS, and it, still, it was a scandal, as the finance minister himself called it, this is another scandal building, and everybody must speak against this. this In fact, they are actually trying to dodge parliament by pretending that the uh, railway company is capable of doing this agreement on their balance sheet. 